Namaste and welcome to another chair yoga class. We're going to work on more of the lower body and spine today. But let's come together comfortably in a chair that you feel safe in, that your feet can touch flat to the floor or some sort of lift. And we're going to use a couple of props today so you can have your yoga strap or a belt that you would use for a robe or a piece of, uh, of strong string, like a rope. Um, also two tennis balls in an athletic sock and tied in a knot. And then we're using our slow-mos again today. And these are um, soft balls that you inflate with a straw or your mouth. And uh, if you don't have something like this, you can go to mariaalive.com uh, to my store and order one. So those are our three props for today. Let's take our palms together. Let's take a full exhale. And on an inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale right down the center. Once again, inhale, reach up, feel your feet, and exhale right down the center line. One more time, just like that, a deep inhale, and exhale. We're going to add sound to that, which helps us to lengthen our breath. So take an inhale. And once again, inhale. And one more time. A moment of gratitude, a moment of being in these bodies, a moment of sitting together in this class. Let's take our palms down onto our legs and see if you can get your hands near your knees, sitting up nice and tall. And as you exhale, round back. And as you inhale, begin with the belly, then the chest, and then the throat, shoulders back. Exhale, rounding back. And again, inhale, reaching open. Exhale, rounding back. Let's do two more times. That inhale opens. That exhale starts to activate through the deep belly muscles. Last time like that. As we slow that breath down, we can actually work more deeply with our immune response. We can work more deeply with our stress response, learning to really relax through the body, but still stay active. We're going to add our arms. So take an exhale, rounding back. And as you inhale, come forward, belly, chest, arms, broaden your arms, and as you exhale, tuck the chin, hands down to knees, rounding back, and once again, inhale, reaching open, exhale, rounding back, and let's do two more times, that inhale opens, remember to be mindful of your neck, so don't throw your head back at all, last time, And coming back to that rounded position and then start to sit yourselves upright. Sitting upright as nice and tall as you can. Certainly your back can be touching the back of the chair, but working to use more of your deep belly muscles for this movement. We're going to take this hand to the side of the chair, holding on, and on the inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, come over. And again, reach up, feel your feet on the floor. Exhale, over. 
Once again, reach up nice and tall. And as you exhale and come over, stay there and breathe. Open the chest a little more. And if you want to go to this next level, as you exhale, take your head towards your knee. Inhale, that arm, that shoulder, that chest, that head lifts. Exhale down. Staying on the chair with your butt, lift up on the inhale. And on the exhale, here's our last one. And then inhale, that arm reaches up, reach up the other arm, reach up nice and tall, and hands back to heart space. And take a moment here. Take a moment finding that deeper breath. And then let's go to the other side. So make any adjustments in your chair. And here we go. Inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, come over to the side. And again, inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, over. Once again, see how much height you can find through your body. And then exhale over and stay there and breathe. We're trying to open the chest. And then here we go if you're advancing it. On the exhale, bring your head towards your knee. And as you inhale, that shoulder, that arm, that chest, that head reaches. Exhale back down. And once again, open up here. It's a diagonal movement. Last time. Lifting up, opening up, reaching up with the other arm. Stretch up and come back to heart space saying good morning or maybe good afternoon to these bodies. We're going to do a little bit of a Kriya, a breath practice, more for purification and to get out that stagnation at the bottom of the lungs. So take the inhale up, palms forward. Keep your eyes open. Last one, reach up. And then with the arms nice and open, come all the way down. Let the arms hang easily, not dropping the chest like this, but nicely open through this upper chest and shoulders and breathe. And then we're gonna find our double balls double ball in the sock. Remember, this is a very safe way to work with balls is in a sock because they don't roll away as easily. You could certainly have just a tennis ball as well and work with that. So I'm going to put it down and I'm going to have my foot on top of those balls. You could choose just one or both of the balls and then start to roll into it or press and release. Finding spots under that foot that want a little bit of love and attention, and I have just found some, oh yeah. And go ahead and spread those toes a little bit. Look down. Remember, eye to toe contact is very important for the nervous system. Find other places or keep rolling. Do the inside edge of that foot between the two balls and then the outside edge. That feels so good. Oh yeah. And then let's take the balls to the other side and let's do this side. And let's notice if there's a difference. So there's often differences in the sides of the body. It's actually part of our kind of behavioral signature, right? And we're working with it though. We're looking towards symmetry as best as we can. If you want a little more juice in this, you're pressing your hands on your knee to give a little more weight to it. And go ahead and start to go between the two balls with the inner edge, that inner arch area that feels so good. And then the outer edge. And we'll release that, bring these balls up, and we're gonna take them behind a knee, okay? So one option is just to do these little tiny movements here while pressing the balls into that space behind the knee, okay? Another option is to lift up and pull in and lightly release. 
and pull in and lightly release. And if you can hold here, holding here, pulling in, and then rotating the ankle. And see if you can wiggle the toes. That feels so good. And other direction. And then let that go. And as you release it, reach out and bend. And reach out and bend. And last time, as you reach out, spread those toes and then put them down. And just notice the differences that are starting to happen in the body. I can feel it myself. We're gonna take it to the back of the knee. Remember, one option are these small movements here, not really lifting the leg much at all. Or if you're able to lift up higher and pull in and release, pull in and release. Little tiny movements here. And then if you can, keep holding in there, rotate your ankle. I just had a release in my neck. See what else is in this body. The whole body is totally connected. Other direction, wiggle those toes and let go. Stretch and again release. And again, toes towards your face, spread those toes. One last time and release that. Before we go any further, we're gonna come up onto tiptoe, so lifting your heels and then push the heels down. Spread all your toes, come back up, so you're really pulling those heels up and release down. And one more time, back up, push the toes into the floor and release. We're gonna take these two balls under one thigh so that it's on the chair. And then you have some options. You could swing your lower leg, that always feels good. You could move the whole leg and hip, or some people even glide the whole lower body, okay? So see what feels good. You could also press into it with your hand, your arm. Nice, easy breaths here. And then release. And let's go to the other side. Find a place under that thigh. I just found mine. <laughs> so decide, are you gonna swing the lower leg? Are you gonna move this whole leg? Are you gonna move the whole leg and the hip swaying side to side? Do you want a little more pressure into that muscle, the hamstrings, by pushing in deeper? And release. And take a moment to feel that. So oftentimes if we're sitting a lot, we get a lot of stagnation in the lower body. We also get stagnation in our lungs. And so we're gonna work into our glutes as well. So get these balls under one butt cheek. Here's a tail to hang on. And either move the lower leg again, or the whole leg, or you can actually glide side to side or slightly forward. That feels so good. We want to activate all of these muscles in our body in a variety of ways, but no sharp pain. No sharp pain at all. You might feel a dull tugging, some pulling. You might feel this sensation, which you want to feel, but no sharp pain. Let's go to the other side. Oh, one side might feel tighter. One side might feel just different than the other. We often will lean into one side more. And let that go. Nice deep breaths here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do one more spot. We're gonna take the balls like this and put them behind your back somewhere along the spine so that each ball is on each side of the spine. Lean back into the chair and press into those balls. So you could do little tiny cat cows here, pushing, massaging, so good to get these good massages in, right? That feels so good. If you want to try another movement, press into those balls and do really small rotations. Really small rotations. That feels good. and then release. So let's put those balls down. Take a moment once again with palms together 
locating that longer exhale. One more time. So important to really access the breath. And we're going to go ahead and grab our slow mos. Remember, they don't have to be fully filled. They never actually fully, fully fill. And we're going to put them behind us, catching onto the chair, somewhere along the spine. Somewhere along the spine. From here, let's go ahead and lift up those arms, but let the shoulders relax. Notice how my wrists are relaxed. My elbows are slightly bent. And I'm just kind of gliding side to side. I want to try to really feel the rib cage here. Just kind of gliding. Let your head move the way it wants to move. And then come to one side, stay there breathing. And the other side. And back to center. Keep the ball there. Palms forward as you reach back. And then tuck your chin in a light a light rounding forward, inhale, back, exhale. Two more times, inhale, back, exhale. Here comes the last time. And sitting up nice and tall and feel all of that length through this torso. We're gonna take palms to the belly, take some nice deep breaths, breathing deep into the belly, and every time you exhale, feel the belly release and drop back towards the spine. The inhale expands the belly and chest, and the exhale, allows the belly to pull in a little bit. One more time. And then let's sit up tall, release that pose, remove the ball and find your straps. Okay, we're gonna take this strap under one foot, okay? Find the hold somewhere just above the knee where your shoulders can be back. Your palms are upright and look at how my elbows are tucked in. And then on the inhale, lift, exhale down. You can tip back when you do this, but try to keep the spine straight. Exhale down. Once again, reach and down. Here's our last time. Reach and hold and breathe. See if you can spread your toes, push your heel away from you, maybe lift the elbows, lift that leg, and bring it back down. We're gonna stay on the same side, but just kind of wiggle your fingers a little bit, and then find that hold again. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale and lift up. Now hold here and breathe. I've got my elbows tucked in and I'm gonna open up my leg, come back to center, go to the other direction. See if you can get it over that other knee. Come back to center, lift higher, reach up those elbows and come back down. Let's release that strap from the leg Release those fingers a little by just kind of wiggling them. And then let's find the other side. Other side here. Get all the parameters. I'm sitting up nice and tall on my chair. I'm not slumping back. I'm really trying to find that abdominal tone. I've got my elbows tucked in, shoulders back, palms are facing upwards. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Once again, reach up. So when we do these amazing movements, we're talking to all parts of the body. Hold there and breathe. Nice deep breaths. Maybe lift up those elbows, lift the leg higher, and release down. Just hold there for a moment, releasing fingers. We're talking to the nervous system. We're activating the whole body. We're reintegrating. And let's come back up 
Use your nice deep breaths, get that chest nice and open, and then open this leg. Nice deep breaths here because that leg is heavy. Those bones are heavy. Come back to center. See if you can take it over the other side. Back to center a little taller. And back down. Release the strap. Shoot out those fingers. Shake out those wrists. Even rotate them a little. Especially if you have to hang on to walkers and canes and everything else. You want to really be releasing these little tiny bones in the hands. And then let's go ahead and release the elbows and the shoulders. And let your head move as it wants to move. And come back to center. We're gonna attempt to bring our feet closer together so that our knees are maybe touching because we're getting ready for another rotation here. I'll take you through it. Let's take the arms out and make a fist with one hand, bend the elbow. Bend the other elbow and hang on to that fist with the other palm. Keep these elbows nice and lifted, spine is straight. As you exhale, lean forward, rotating the torso, putting the elbow between the knees and breathing here. That one elbow is facing towards the ceiling. And then once you feel like you're really in place here, turn your head to look down. Pashasana, wonderful pose for the body. And then release. And on the inhale, reach up so tall. And as you exhale, come back. The center. One more time, other side. We're going to bend this elbow, make a fist, bend this elbow, hold on to that fist. Standing night or sitting nice and tall, take an inhale, exhale, leaning forward, rotating, elbow between the knees, holding there, breathing. Try to keep that other elbow up towards the ceiling. When you feel like you have that in place, turn your head to look down. Release those arms, take an inhale, and reach up so tall. And exhale, back to center. We always want to take a little bit of time between some of these amazing poses in order to get the real yoga because the real yoga happens between the poses. Let's take one palm to each knee, try to really reach forward, and as you exhale, round, inhale, reach, and again, exhale, round. One more time, and rounding back, and coming back up. We're gonna get a hold of this leg and try to bring this lower leg over the other knee just enough to rotate this ankle. See if you can rotate that ankle. You can use your hands, get a hold of those toes, use your thumbs to massage the bottom of your foot. Look at how I'm actually working with all my toes here, rotating. Hand to foot contact is so important for brain, for the brain, the central nervous system maybe pulling this whole foot towards this knee and away. Certainly take more time with that, but for the purposes of this video, let's sit up nice and tall, one hand under this knee. See if you can get this hand under this foot. Roll those shoulders back. Nice deep breaths here. So here's some choices. You could just kind of rock your whole body here on the chair, or some of you can lift the leg and rock like this. Some of you can work to hugging the knee and maybe hugging the foot, rocking the baby. And then take that leg over tightly if you can. If you can get the foot behind you, go ahead. I cannot. And we're going to clasp our hands and palm around, palms around that knee. And then look at how I pull into that knee to lift up through my torso, shoulders back and down. Use your breath here, breathing nice and deep. We're gonna go deeper. We're gonna take an inhale 
And as we exhale, bend those elbows and round in. And as you inhale, straighten those elbows and lift up. And again, exhale. Inhale, straighten. Last time, exhale. And now as you straighten up, hold there, breathe. And release, but keep the legs like this. We want to squeeze in through those inner thighs. Take this arm, the opposite of the knee that's on top, and take it over that leg, hold underneath that knee or even to the other. Take this elbow behind, drop the arm behind, and here we are in our rotation. Nice deep breaths here. And coming all the way back to center, let's release that leg and bicycle. Bicycle opposites if you can. I'm lifting a knee, I'm lifting the opposite arm. Very good for the brain, for the lobes of the brain. And sitting up nice and tall. Getting ready to go to the other side. Other side, let's take that leg across. Remember, you could use props. You could have another chair here and have your foot on that chair. I've got the ankle freed up. I'm rotating that ankle. I'm starting to get to know my foot. I'm pressing into it with thumbs, wiggling through that big toe. Big toe is so important for balance in the body, especially when you're walking. And then go ahead and pull those toes towards the knee and away that whole foot if you can, and away. There, I just had a nice release of my ankle and sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take one hand under this knee, one hand under this foot. You can rock like this, or you can lift the leg and rock like this. Or some of you can get around that knee and maybe the foot and rocking like this. Oh feels so good. And then let's take it over. Let's tighten it up as best as you can. Clasp. Put those palms around that knee and pull yourself up. Really use those arms. Really open that chest here. Take an inhale. Exhale round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale round. Inhale, reach up. Here's the last time. Rounding, coming back up, releasing just the arms. This one comes over. Get a hold of something here to hang on to. This goes back. You're rotating now in the other direction. Nice deep breaths here. There's a lot to think about. Feel the foot touching the mat. Feel the squeezing of the inner thighs, the lifting of the spine, the rotating of the spine, breathing. And come back. And we'll bicycle. And rest. Our time is already up in this class. However, there will be more videos for you to look at as the days go on. So if you want to join me in a final relaxation, I'll show you from the side. You can certainly get on the floor if you feel safe to do that. Otherwise, we're gonna take the ball as up high as you can on this chair so it's just catching and that helps you to float this part of your torso here. And then you can have your hands down on your knees. You could also take a mudra, all fingertips touch, or one hand on top of the other. I'm gonna take Hakini mudra, all fingertips touch like a ball, and go ahead and rest your arms. And let your eyes close. And let your breath deepen and bring your awareness down to your feet, feeling your feet touching the mat. 
Awareness up through each leg, right leg, left leg. Feel the backs of the thighs on the chair. Feel the hips, the pelvic bowl resting now. Allow your torso to relax. Up in through the shoulders, the arms. Let your forehead soften and relax your jaw. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. And we will start to come out of this pose for the purposes of the video. I'm going to just turn my chair again. palms together. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. We're going to end with the sound of one ohm. Take an exhale. Inhale. Blessings and balance, balance and blessings, for from balance come all blessings. Namaste.